Hello, welcome back to English with Chris. Today we're looking at some telephone phrasal verbs, or seventeen to be exact. First up, we have break up. Sorry, could you repeat that, please? You're breaking up. So this usually means that something's not good with the line or the connection. Um, so you can't hear the person that well, or maybe it's a, a little bit intermittent. Next up, we have call back. She said she'd call back. So in this case, maybe the person's not available to answer the phone. In which case, someone else might say they'll talk to that person and get them to call you back. It could also be that you've managed to get through to the person, but it's not such a good time to talk or something's come up. Another phrasal verb there.、Um, so they have to call you back. At a more convenient time. Now we have cut off. We were cut off in the middle of our conversation. Very very annoying. This happens sometimes、um, like、online as well. Maybe you're speaking to someone.、Um, I don't know via Skype or hang out something like that, and maybe the internet goes down, so it cuts you off mid conversation. Not great, or maybe you're on the phone and you go、um, through a, a train tunnel or something. Maybe you're on the train, so let's cut off. Now we have call up. My dad called me up to tell me the bad news. Yeah, so if you call someone up, you're you're phoning that person. Get through. So if you phone someone. And you manage to get through to that person, it means that you've managed to get to the conversation stage. So you're actually having your conversation now. You've gotten through to that person. Hang on. So here、uh, we have our example. Hang on. I'll just see if he's here. So I didn't. Maybe you phoned up one of your friends. Uh, someone else answers the phone for some reason,、um, and you ask that person if if he's there, and they say, "Well, hang on, I'll go check," or "Hang on, I'll go see." Now we have "hang up." This one can be a negative.、Um, so "hang up" is something we have to do at some point.、Um, But sometimes people hang up prematurely, so you、uh, maybe they're not particularly happy with you, and if they just end the call, they've hung up on you. Of course,、um, all conversations have to have a natural end、uh, to them, so someone has to hang up. You might see、um, in some of these like love films and and such.、Um, Like、romantic comedies and so on, they usually have a scene where it's like, "Ah,、oh, no, you hang up. No, 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 I couldn't do that. You hang up first.、Uh, so the same premise. Next up, we have hold on. Could you hold on a moment, please? So if someone asks you to hold on, they're asking you to wait. So it's it's a kind、um, a kind request. Um, maybe they have to do something in the middle of that call, or maybe again they're going to check something. So they're asking you to hold on、uh, to wait for them. Now we have pick up. Pick up obviously very important. So if someone phones you, you pick up. Um, so literally, I guess you're picking up your phone, but you're you're actively accepting the call. You've answered the call. You've picked up. So if nobody picks up, nobody answers the call. Now we have a put through. So this happens often if we're phoning、um, like a big business or something.、Um, there's there's multiple lines. But maybe you want to speak to a specific department, or in this case, to the manager. 
you would ask them if they could put you through to that person, so to the manager in this case, so that you can talk to them. We also have speak up. Can you speak up a bit? It's very noisy here. So speak up, it means to raise your voice, to speak a bit louder. Uh, as some people use this in a negative way as well. Maybe um, maybe someone's a little bit shy and someone's not so patient with that person. They might angrily say, like, we'll speak up. But usually this is uh, not inherently a negative. It's just telling the person, informing the person with whom you're speaking that you can't you can't hear them so well. get back to someone this one if you if you use english at work you would have heard this one for sure i'm almost 100 percent sure of that um so uh, i'll find out and get back to you soon so basically um you don't have all of the information that you need at that time so you're going to find out um the information and then you'll get back to that person so you'll call them again to inform them um, of the news let's say uh, get off i just got off the phone with dad he is keeping well so we use this to say that we've just ended the call so if you've just finished speaking to someone on the phone you could you could say i just got off the phone with and then the person Turn off. It's good to turn off the phone while charging. Yeah, so turn off. It just means to switch off, to um, to no longer have your device turned on. Turned on. <laughs> uh, a good one to have here. So your own greeting is dis displayed instead of an animation when you turn on the phone. So when you turn on the phone, you're starting it up. So you're able to use it again. If it's turned off, you can't use it. If it's turned on, you can use it. Next up, we have pass on. Did you pass on my message to him? So if you pass on something, you're relaying the information to someone else. So um, maybe you've had some bad news and that par person asks you if you could inform your friends or your family about what it is that they told you and if you do that you've passed on their message um, it doesn't have to be bad news maybe um, maybe someone's throwing a birthday party and they've let you know and it's like oh can you also tell the rest of the office or uh, you know the rest of our colleagues about it so that they can come too and then you could say, yep, yeah, I'll pass on the message to them. Next up, we have a phone in. So I have to phone in and report the changes. To, so to phone in, it means to, um, uh, to, to give a particular piece of information. So if you phone in, maybe you need to tell your manager that you're you're not feeling well. Um, so you're phoning in to inform your manager that you won't be able to come to work today because you're feeling quite poorly, um, but you'll return to work as soon as possible. Um, we can use this again in lots of different scenarios, but it's usually used to, to relay information and usually it's to tell someone that you can't make it to something like maybe you can't go to school because you're feeling poorly can't go to work um, you can also phone in for certain competitions some competitions have a um, a number that you have to call and um, if you call that number in order to take part in the competition you've phoned in so we call them like phone in competitions Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, telephone phrasal verbs. If you did, please do leave a like and consider subscribing. It'd be great to see you again. 
Um, I hope you enjoy your weekend as well if you're watching this video when it first goes up. Anyway, take care then, all the best, and bye for now. Bye bye.